Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening, and today we're going to start something new called Questions and Answers to Back to Eden Gardening in Wood Chips. A common question I'm asked a lot is, what is this white mold, what does it do, and is it mycorrhizal fungi? The common name to it is called saprophytic, also sometimes referred to as saphotrophic. The purpose of it is a decomposing type of fungi. It will break down your wood chips or other organic matter that's heavy in carbon. I'm going to grab a sample and we're going to bring it inside and look underneath the microscope and see if we can learn more about it. I have my samples in front of me and I'm going to put some underneath the microscope and we'll just take a closer look. So my sample's on the slide and you'll see through the here, this part here is the camera and that's hooked up to my computer here and then we'll see it on the screen here. Now we have a good picture of that fungus and I want you to look at the strands. Let me focus a little bit better so you can see it. The strands are unbroken and it's a constant line. That's very important because that's the way to identify it that it's not mycorrhizal. So I'm going to go with the spelling and uh, what they identify it as you know, off the soil food web chart, saprophytic fungi. And so what I did is I typed it in our famous Google, and you can see up here in the upper left-hand corner the name. And then this is what it comes up with if you want more information. But what I'm trying to point out is that if you click on any of the pictures, you can see that it comes in a group and it's all different types, more of a a ground cover or a lot of log and also even mushroom shape but if you click on this and open that up and then there's other pictures that you can click on and this is the ones that you see mostly likely in your soil or what's on the wood chips that I brought in and then you click on that image it will bring you into the definition of it even further through Wikipedia and the most important thing here is that you go to what it says here underneath presence of oxygen, very few saprotrophic, now they use that word, organisms can endure anaerobic conditions as evidenced by their growth above the media, such as water and soil. It doesn't like to be too wet, but it needs a lot of moisture to maintain itself or grow, but it can't live in water or in the soil. So you can see here in the diagram that I also Googled is that you can see the difference between septate hyphae and non-septate hyphae. Now septate hyphae here is mycorrhizal fungi hyphae. Now you'll see these areas here, which is the septate, and that's the difference between the growth. In the non-septate, which is the fungus that you saw on the wood, you'll see that it grows here and it's all one piece. It doesn't have the divisions or breaks in between. That's the difference between mycorrhizal fungi and also uh, the, the wood fungus. And a very special thank you to Dr. Elaine Ingram to explain to me how to identify mycorrhizal fungi. I wish to thank Plant Based Large Family for the question. She has a lovely Back to Eden garden. Please check out her channel. And also, too, is I, uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. And also, I'm showing you the back of the fungus again. I believe this might be a problem. I have a theory about it that this fungus might be causing um, problems when you plant seeds directly into the soil in the back of the garden. It's easily fixed. Don't panic, and we'll get it solved. Thanks. Enjoy your day.